Lisa, Carl, and I are going out hauling around. Can you believe that? We don't get the chance to do this very often. We're going to see if we can find us a farm girl somewhere. <laughs> Just kidding. A little bit of roadkill? We are headed out to Dan's. Carl wants to show Dan his new saw. I'll show you guys the saw too. Got a kick ass battery powered chainsaw. And I got a couple of lanterns for Dan. We have no use for it. He has somewhat of a collection going in his cabin there. So, and I have a Coleman lantern, one of them old fuel oil Coleman lanterns that I know he'll use that we never will. So, maybe we'll see something along the way. Either way, it's a gorgeous night to bring the camera along, right? All right. When is it not? Yeah, it I mean, beautiful snowstorm, thunderstorm, beautiful sunny day. It's it's all good, really. Yeah. I'm taking over the camera. Go check that out. Can you see it out the window, all right? That was a good timing to run across that. Sounds pretty badass. Cool stall. Sounds like it's a work in progress. Needs a tune up. Ah. Uh. Cool, you never, never know what you want to cross up here. <laughs> Just never know. Somebody had some fun here in the intersection. That was incredibly good timing to run across that. Yeah. You know what? If that's flashing, that's recording. All right, we're going to take a quick trip through the cemetery here in our. Uh, friend Mike the satellite guy was buried here but I don't know don't know whether there would be a headstone yet or not pretty sure this is the right cemetery there's only two definitely was not flake cemetery pretty sure it was this one Some small of these stones are old. Yeah, it's small enough, it shouldn't be too hard to see a freshly or newly dug grave. Come back at night, see if vampires come out. It is a really pretty little place, spot. I would think it would be... Nothing new here. I would think it would be back in the back here somewhere. Right there. More. Yep, Mike. Mike. 2022. Let me see it for a second. Yep, that's the graves I was looking for. That was our friend and satellite guy, Mike Moore. Wow. How in the world does that already look undisturbed? You know? Yeah. Interesting. Who knows with technology now? <laughs> they can peel back the ground and put a coffin in and you never know it, you know? Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I keep telling Sheree when I die I wanna be cremated and have my ashes spread over the mountains of Dolly Parton. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty little cemetery though. If I was going to be buried somewhere, I still think I'd rather be in Flake Cemetery because it is on top of the hill. It's on the west side of the road. 
and all the graves. Well, the graves face east towards 10th Avenue, but I can put it in perspective. It would be like if this graveyard was right here in this field, that whole graveyard is right there during sunset. You know, it's really, really pretty, really pretty setting. Oh yeah, you'd have a much better view. Definitely. All right, onward. Oh, we're here, kinda. This is the same place we came and shot the guns and blew up the tannery. And blew all that stuff. Blew that mother up. <clears throat> there was a known Bigfoot crossing up here too. Had a sign and everything? There was. Can't imagine it. Tree. <laughs> Get a little bit of firewood. Yep, the Bigfoot crossing is still here. Well, you got this right here. Oh, yeah. It's just speculation that that's where they're crossing. There's somebody here. Oh, somebody's here. We are going to cut with Carl's new saw. He just went to Lowe's and exchanged that one because a part fell off of his other one. Today was 29 days into the 30 day return policy, so. They gave him a new one. They gave me a hard time about it. Did they? I had to call Ego and get the approval to return it. And you guys have probably never met Marley. Marley's a good girl. Marley. Hi, Marley. Marley, what you doing, Marley? Hi, Marley. Hi, Marley. Warmed up. Oh, you want me to try it? <laughs> but no, I have not seen this in operation at all. She like butter. Yeah, that's got good, that's really good blade speed. Definitely. <clears throat> now you see why we're having so much fun at Chuck's. Yeah. yeah. I've only seen one saw close to that good, and it was, it was as good as that it was, a, but it was a steel. Yeah. No, it wasn't that was a power but But even that guy was really impressed with the steel because he was a diehard gas steel gas chainsaw user. That's pretty good. He was impressed. Yeah, that is really good. Yeah, really it's, nice. It's maple too. Brings him out here so Bindi can't. You go. got a favorite toy? Yeah, what are we, we doing? Keep what are we doing paper. next? What are we doing next? Huh? What are we doing next? Huh? You stole a standing standing tree you got it's over here? Stop, stop, stop. Stop. You oh, that stick. okay. I see now. I hit the stick right here. Okay. Looks like we may be back tomorrow to cut some wood, guys. What are we doing now? Yeah, what are we? What to nip up and take with you? We're getting a skid load in a couple weeks. Oh, okay. Gonna haul the big stuff out. I'm gonna smooth up the driveway. Work the, stuff. Were you gonna work the trail some more with that too? Yeah, I'm gonna smooth them out, but I, I'm trying to. I'm gonna work out this way. Oh, bam, bam, bam! It's down here. That's another one right here. What's that? That's another one right here. Yeah, baby are tree. Kind of crappy wood. Yeah. And it's gonna it's gonna fall perfectly too. 
It'll fall right over there. Yeah. That is on the massive side for an ash tree. Definitely. You should not cut none of these trees. Wow. It's been dead about two years. Now, that's the great thing about cutting a tree like that out here. It's like, well, wherever it goes, as long as it doesn't hurt anybody. <laughs> and it's already seasoned. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's the tree he's talking about. He's like of the mind, if you're going to put the effort into cutting down a tree, you're going to cut down a good one. Yeah, there's a hell of a lot of wood there. Come on, Pop. Come on, Grandma. But yeah, I got our, I got our truck because we got a once a year opportunity to get rid of tires for free. And I got seven car tires plus, how many lawnmower tires? Three? Yeah. And Paul's got a couple. So our plan is to cut this down tomorrow. I'm going to nip the, the bottom part up. Which one are you cutting? This dead one here, this giant thing. Oh, that's the one you're cutting? Yeah, it's dead. It's been dead for two years. I didn't realize that's the one you were cutting. Yeah. <laughs> I will yeah, come this and, one, Papa, you come don't. You want to get it while it's nice and dry. You don't want to Bye. sit on the ground yeah. for two years. And I'll come and help and do what I can. Okay, here, let me Well, open. I brought a couple of things out for Dan that he collects, like I was saying, but one of them is this Coleman lantern that I thought was my dad's. And it turns out I was correct because the date on the bottom is I don't know if you can see that 74 okay. which dates it perfectly I was 10 years old so that definitely was my dad's lantern and he has the wicks and the fuel we're gonna see if we can get it going after all these years what year? 74 40 it is 48 years old so that's close to 50. Yeah, it's been a long time since it was used i know that mm, mm. Like we that got a running? gorgeous good, gorgeous it? evening tonight we might take a walk around the trails one like one trip around the trails around. you're telling me i need yeah. to get exercise that would be a good way to do it Well, in keeping with the theme of whatever the hell this channel's about, <laughs> we're going for a walk. Short walk out into the woods. And Carl needs to sign the outhouse. No crap. No crap. It's a thing they got going. I believe I mentioned it before when we were out here, but it was dark out. But lots of signatures inside there. Ten to nine? Yeah, an hour before it's dark. <laughs> that hole is not good for drunk people. Yeah. I, know. I think something's inside. There's a marker in here somewhere. Right here. I'm hearing something. I believe I signed this at one point somewhere. Terrible signature, but cool. Get me out of here. I guess we'll head back that way. Okay. Last time we went that way, we got effed up. <laughs> we'll stick with what we know. What you know. you hear that? Bet you the camera picked that up. That was clearly a freaking knock. I stepped on a stick so I didn't hear the knock. I like to mention in case I'm right. Because <laughs> if I'm wrong, I can edit it out just never say anything. But it sure sounds like a knock to me. That's happened before. I'm walking out here. Not completely dead quiet, is it? 
No, I still hear some some insects. It is pretty darn quiet though for being dusk in the forest. I'd hope to at least see a deer, you know. Looks like that Coleman lantern is going to work, guys. He temporarily fired it up before he put the wicks in it. So it should be working by the time we get back. And I went to the doctor today. I actually went to the hospital today and had an EKG done, blood drawn and a chest x-ray to try to figure out what the hell's going on with me. And then Monday, I have an appointment to see an ear, nose, and throat specialist. I was thinking of going this way too for some reason, just to like peek out into the field. So it's gonna be a while before we get to the bottom of what the hell's going on. Why am I so short of breath? I just wanted to come over here and peek out in this field. It's not Dan's property, but last time I did this, I kicked up a deer. See nothing moving. But I'll always take a chance to get out in the new woods. A new area, I should say. There isn't any Sasquatch around here. This thing just scared it off. Well, for all you know, I might attract it. I have more food than they this do. This is true. Yeah, they might find Carl attractive. I didn't think about that. A female squatch might, for sure. All right, I'll turn the camera back on when we get back in the woods. Carl said he just heard something over here. I heard a little bit of something. If it was a deer, it would have had to have been standing there watching us over there. Could be anything. strange too I can hear that a lot of times when we're sitting by the fire Tracy's got better hearing than me but she won't hear it that's uh, why I got in the habit of saying something because then when I review it yeah that was a knock or a knock sound anyways yeah makes sense but she'll not hear a lot of them but then there's certain 
cones or whatever that she can hear that I can't hear and there's things I hear that she can't hear. Especially on audio recordings. Something to me that sounds like a howl. She completely either can't hear it or hears something completely different. It is still pretty damn quiet if you ask me. For being in the forest. That's not their place. Yeah. We just gotta cut through this and we're back where we started. Oh, okay. That little <clears throat> metal shit I don't remember. In the camp right now. But yeah, you know, it's lots all over here. I'd be good. Looks like a deer bedded down here. Maybe a couple. Well, I hope you enjoyed that short little walk through the woods. happen to see anything interesting on the ride home you'll see it next and my dad's vintage Coleman lantern has been resurrected how awesome is that really cool to see it getting used again just been sitting around our house not being used at all Pretty fun visit and fun walk. Oh yeah. I'm getting lazy in my old age, but that was fun. <laughs>